Well, welcome to another episode of the Love and Fear podcast today in person. Yes, how First cool. time visiting Edward uh, at his office here. Re remember the one that we did, we, we never broadcasted because the sound and, and image were really rubbish, but we did one in uh, in Latvia. In Latvia, yes. yes, uh, yes that yes, didn't make the right. cut, but uh, now let's make a decent one. Uh, stay, uh, stay. Well, I guess with, with all the equipment you have, this should be a decent one in terms of quality. Okay. So, Rock and roll. Good. Let's rock and roll. What's the topic today? The idea is we're about to finish the month of January. And what do people do in the month of January? They have New Year's resolutions. Or oh, they had New Year's resolutions. They, that's exactly the topic. The, uh, what happens in between creating New Year's resolution? What are things to drop you off guard or to, to, to make them abandon? And what do people do to successfully engage in and, and still stick to them? Mm -hmm. So, about I heard about nine percent of Americans with New Year's resolutions actually finish it in the whole year. year. Yeah, and magically, there's something happens. Uh, about 40, 45 percent is is out uh, already in in the in the first month. And yeah, I'd like to, to to talk to you. What would be if if you made it through one month? Mm -hmm. What what does it take to to stick to them to, to for the rest of the year? Is it willpower? Is it um, decisiveness? Is it uh, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. For me, to sticking to habits, A, making it easy for me. Okay. Right, kind of to make it super easy that I have my support system around me. Let's say going to yeah. the gym, having my trainer comes to my house three times a week in the yeah. morning, yeah. and he's just there. So it's like yeah. very hard to miss, yeah. right? Um, or not eating crap, just like not buying crap. So yeah. kind of like make the, I like to make it easy for myself, right? Okay. So I do not have to rely on willpower. Yeah. All right. So I guess that's that's probably the main thing for me. That makes do you easy. treat yourself to extra special things? Okay, if I do this, I throw in something else. Uh, then I'm okay to do that, or not really. I, if I if I cheat, I consciously decide. Okay, I, I'm gonna do this, but I'll. Yeah. Make, make up for it. Yeah. I, I, I heard many people speak about that, about the cheating. That's actually not that bad. And if you do cheat, enjoy the hell out of it. <laughs> I heard diets that have a, a, a built-in cheat day. Mm. Wasn't actually, it Tim Ferriss? Yeah. Didn't he have a diet where every Saturday or so he would, he, would, he would just eat all the Snickers bars and whatever and, and drink? And So uh, by having the cheat day, he could manage the rest of the, of the week. I think there's a differentiate... With these things for example there's like i have hard lines with things like yeah. agreements for example i used to smoke a lot of weed yeah like a crazy person as, <laughs> as, as a teenager and i'd not go there again because i'm scared if i go there again that this old habit of smoking a lot of weed will become yeah come back again right yeah. you know so it's just with you you're, you're afraid it's still in there somewhere it might yeah, pop out in that surface yeah, like Ooh. Yes. yeah or like being vegan you know i will yeah. not violate this it's like you know i have yeah. like these hard set yeah. rules agreements with myself where yeah. i would not break them but that's that's almost not not, not like a, a discussion you have with yourself anymore yeah. it's who you are yes correct. you've internalized it and and if somebody violates that space it feels like a personal invasion to your core values yes, i guess correct, correct, correct. let's say if we would have lunch and i would feed you something and then and i would later tell you there was uh, beef in there yeah then then we have a problem because they violated your, yeah, I mean, you know. A, you probably would not do this, and B, I would most likely taste this because every time when I eat something, yeah. I have not, I haven't had meat for since I'm 18, I'm 46, so quite some time. Boy. It's a very intense flavor, so I'd probably mm. be able to tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you, it is. <laughs> I'm a huge barbecue fan. <laughs> well, anyway, um, you, you spoke about smoking. Um, one way to stop a habit, I I started my career in in in, uh, in Belgium, and it was a one-hour drive, and I had the nasty habit of smoking a cigar in the morning. <laughs> it took me about an hour to oh, get other, there. So my, my 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 car smelled like cigar like crazy, and it's like a trigger reaction. You get in the car and you want to smoke. And at one point, I think I I I, I messed up two cars, and then, then I bought a new one. And I said, okay, this is no, not going to happen. Yeah. No, it's just, just, uh, just not, I don't want to have this smell, so I'm not going to smoke. And I, from then on, it was okay. And after a while, the, the, the automation of driving and smoking was gone because, yeah, it's no trigger habits anymore. 
So triggers. Yes, triggers and, and your environment is, is, is so important. You yeah. know, kind of being around the right people. If you're around people, friends who smoke cigars all the time, yeah. it's going to be much harder to say yeah. no versus if you're around, you know, you, but, you're the average of the people you surround yourself with. When, 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 you st when you stopped drinking alcohol, did you go to parties less often because you don't want to put yourself in the position? When, no, did, was, when did something change there? I stopped drinking when I was 24. Yeah. I woke up with a huge hangover. Yeah. And I had like a bottle of whiskey that night before or something yeah. like this. And uh, also like good good whiskey, you know. Yeah. So I looked into my wallet and realized how much money I spent that night. Yeah. And I was like, screw this, you never yeah. do this again. Yeah. And I never did. No. Yeah. So it's actually I did. Um but not to I have not been drunk since yeah. then, but uh when I had a sore throat, yeah. I thought like, oh maybe I can cure it with like gargling whiskey. Yeah. You know? yeah okay. And that doesn't count. No, yeah, well, it, it, it counts because yeah. then it became like, because I really like the taste of whiskey. Yeah, and yeah. Every time you had a lot itch, of uh, you know, yeah. like, oh, <laughs> And then I thought, like, then this, this can yeah. lead to drinking as well. That's why I stopped it. For me, bad habits have a lot to do with the uh, stress. Hmm. So if you're stressed out, um, if I'm stressed, I might have finished half a bag of something that I don't want to eat and before even noting, uh, noticing it. So stress reduces your uh, awareness i guess or when you're stressed you have less yeah so that's not I, I don't have time to worry about this because i have other stuff on my mind so mm -hmm. let's let's do this quickly um i call it my four-year-old brain I, i'm this from this way this week on I, I i when i need to do something that i don't feel like doing i i sometimes um look at myself hey is this the four-year-old that wants something or doesn't want to do something or is the adult speaking? And yeah, it it's just it's quite new. It's a couple of days, so it still works for me. But I thought it was pretty. Yeah, so the pretty delayed good. gratification. Like yeah. if you if you're able, like the success comes yeah. often from delaying gratification. Yeah. You know? So yeah. and and it started with pausing. And uh, for instance, um, yeah, uh, this morning routine I, I skipped because something was out of out of whack uh, that morning. And and. and yeah, when I when I pause, do I really don't want to do this? Then often I make the right decision again, and it, it doesn't. And decisions like that don't they don't really draw a lot of lot of um, a lot of energy from my energy bank, because this is also a very interesting concept. I I don't know where it was, but I read a while ago that willpower and energy are a limited source. So if you go through a lot of it in the morning. You could potentially run out of it in in the afternoon, and I I don't know. What are your feelings about it? I'm not really sold. I I'm pretty sold on this yeah. decision making power, like willpower. You know, I want to limit the amount of decisions that I make. Yeah. For example, I also only dress black and white, so yeah. everything always fits. I have to yeah. make big decisions just to uh, to dress up fancy or am I sporty? I guess like this is mm -hmm. the only decision I want to make. And I also like in business, I like to just like get rid of most decisions, kind of put a system in place or make yeah. somebody else own it so I don't have to yeah. make that many decisions. Because when I'm depleted of decision making in the evening, yeah. it's it's easier to just like, yeah, let's eat a bag of chips. Or, yeah. Mm. Also for this. Eating, so, I mainly eat not when I'm stressed, I eat when I'm mindless. You know, like I'm on a call yeah. and there's like, I'm triggered, there's like a bag of chips standing yeah. or something there and yeah. just like stand there and eat and realize yeah. like, oh my God, I just ate the whole thing because yeah. I was not mindful. Yeah. And 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 overspending time on on Netflix or or social media is that a problem for you? It is, but also controlling your environment. I just uninstalled all the apps from my phone. Yeah, and that's yeah. was the solution to it. You know, because I would like <laughs> to make it easy for myself. Because I also get get dragged into like the the, the mind the scrolling. Yeah. I like I just have two minutes. I just like sit there, you know, yeah. rest or like after eating, and then oopsie, it was like 20, 30 minutes an hour. I was like no. It's and and what what happened before you made that that choice? Was it like again a situation where you sort of had a mental hangover of spending, overspending, or having spent two hours mindlessly scrolling through Instagram instead of no, just, no more? Just re realizing, I mean, yeah. like for for quite some time, you know, kind of seeing the the usage of phone usage, you know, yeah. how many hours you use your phone a day. Yeah, so it just didn't feel right. And how about replacing, um, stopping something entirely? So I'm not going to do this uh, anymore. For me, it's it's way easier if I replace this. For instance, yeah, I don't know. Can't think of an example, but to to stop a habit, it might be uh, replacing it, uh, and that could. I sometimes treat myself um, to something something nice if I said, okay, I didn't do that for a while. So kind of celebrating mm -hmm. successes and and or streaks 
I'm not one of those those guys with the with an app that, that records every every streak, but I keep mental note of it. And yeah, I think the the, the, the finishing streaks or finishing um, or keeping up with um, with good habits that is filling my energy bank. Not literally, but it makes me me proud and it makes me a feeling of okay, I can deal with this because I've dealt with that as well. How's that? Yeah, for me, it's dealing with something. If I remember hard things that I've done, yeah, you know, it's easier to do the things. You know, I jumped, I did a bungee jump, or I did like X Y Z, like, and now I'm having a hard time jumping to this cold pool. Like, you know, get, get yeah. over it. Like, yeah. like having these memories. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Do you, Do you know your cues for it? Um, do you know? Yeah, with cues, I mean uh, events or situations that will likely trigger you to behave in a way that you're not proud of. So, mm -hmm. if you if you know the cues, like for instance, you were saying mindless, the, the bag of chips is there. You're on the phone. Is that is that a cue that you recognize? Or so, uh, one cue for me is uh, I'm laying in bed. I I'm still hyped up. I had a very late call, but it's time to sleep because at six a.m. my train is there. I want to get up early. Yeah. And I'm laying in bed and I can't fall asleep. Yep. And I'm thinking, oh, if you eat something, you may be able to fall asleep. Yeah. Right. But it's yeah. it's it's usually the opposite. It's always the yeah. opposite. Yeah. Then I, I can't sleep and then I also don't have good rest. So this is like the, the main trigger for me being laying in bed, yeah. not being able to sleep, and they're like, oh yeah, let's eat something. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, people can can be uh, me too. I can I can tell myself crazy stuff that, that doesn't really matter if I do this or another another bit of this. And being more conscious and, and uh, yeah, it's, it's quite uh, it's 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 nice, and especially if you think of the personal reason, why am I doing this? What is the bigger picture? And that that's uh, yeah, we spoke about it many times. Having having, having core a big values, why. having a big why, and 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 being able to look in the mirror, and and if you don't like what you see in the mirror, maybe maybe change that. But, no, that's that's the main main problem. I see. Some of the people I meet regularly make crazy progress and all they complain is that they're not going faster or they haven't achieved more. Well, I say, man, amazing what you've done, I've, where I've you are. I fall victim of this as well. Yeah? You know, from talking to my coach about complaining, like, hey, I want to move faster here. And he's like, dude, you're running all the time. Yeah. Look at what you've accomplished. And yeah. right after I had a call with a friend, I told him we did a catch-up call. And it's like, dude, when do you have time to yeah. do all this? And I yeah. feel like I'm not doing anything. Hmm. It's like the, the bias of... Also not good at when what for me it's like if I if I haven't seen a good friend in maybe six months and then I meet with this friend and then they give the, an honest feedback that's that's often the moments that I think wow yeah something has changed mm -hmm. the people that surround you they they, they 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 most often echo what you what you say yourself mm -hmm. so it's mm -hmm. very hard if I would see you daily it's for me it's hard to 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 see the progress the progress because it's it's yeah, yeah it's incorrect like you yeah. know, see you don't see Small. your kid growing and, right. and then a friend comes over like holy cow yeah. I don't grow so much so, yeah it's very interesting thing that it reminds me what happens if you change your personality let's say um with your the, your your next of kin my like my if I I have two brothers and let's say I haven't seen them in a while mm -hmm. The chances are that they're going to treat me in the way they've always treated me because they see you in a certain way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do you rebalance? How do you introduce your new self to people that you know very well, or you don't? I, I don't. You know, I, I, I'm not that aware or don't don't care that much. You know, like I am who I am. You know, yeah. so like people say, like, oh, isn't it hard or socially awkward not to drink alcohol, not to eat meat, etc. Yeah. Like some people struggle with this, but to yeah. me, it's just like this is who I am. I'm just yeah. like, you know, like it or leave it. No, it's just not. You haven't encountered that that people um, respond to you in a certain way that that was suitable, that was a, 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 a normal reaction. Hmm many years ago, but they still do that. Like the old nickname from high school and the mm. old, hey, but you were always this guy who was this, uh, like, let's say one of the buddies you did pot with, uh, let's see if you run into those, they, they will be like, uh, who is this guy? Yeah. Don't, probably yeah, not the most interesting people to run into. No, them, usually you, know. you don't run to them because yeah. they just like hang out somewhere and like yeah. you don't see them. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they don't run at all. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and the other thing is, is um, I want to circle back. I asked you this willpower thing. Mm -hmm. I have a hard time believing it's it's a, it's 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 a limited amount you have in a day. What can you do 
to have a second go and have another grab in the willpower bank. Hmm. I, I, I I really like in, in the afternoon at lunchtime to make a little little walk. Mm -hmm. And especially mm -hmm. when I see water, there's quite a lot of water around here. That replenishes me. That that's that's mm. something does that. Seeing open water. I, there, it, where I live, there is a, there is a lot of forest and forest, and especially the, 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 ex, the exchange of light in, in the forest floor. That that's always a huge for the uh, for the light guy. Uh, yeah, for the light guy, it's, it's something I'm really intrigued uh, by, and it, it's all it's really energizing for me. What what are triggers for you? I'm not sure if I can replenish my willpower. I can definitely replenish myself if I'm stressed out or whatever, kind of going on a run. Like this mm -hmm. definitely helps me, or if I have fallen off my good habits. Yeah. I have my resell routine. Yeah. You know, doing something like self care ish. Yeah. You know, like getting a massage. Yeah. Whatever, buying yeah. myself a new gadget. It's always like that. Like, yeah. I can tell myself, okay, do it from tomorrow on your yeah. good behavior again. But the the, res the restart routine is actually um even if you don't know it in depth, it's just having a mechanism uh, that you know that you continue. That's so powerful. It's so freaking powerful. So it's okay to 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 skip a day or even mess up for a, a couple of days. Once you know what are the when how do I get back on the horse? Yeah. What were the triggers? Eliminate those triggers. What does it? What does this behavior bring me? Yeah. For this, I also have the uh, the error lock or improvement lock. How we call it now in managing happiness. Yeah. You know, kind of adding in like, okay, I fucked up here. Yeah. What can I do to make sure this never happens again? Same business always. Like, okay, we had this problem, this customer complaint, this didn't go right. Yeah. Do you have a personal error log as well? Of course. Jesus. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. That's, I mean, why, why that's, not? Yeah. We're going to be self-healing machines. Yeah. We're going to be kind of like, I mean, machines. <laughs> <laughs> Organisms. Yeah. Uh, error log, personal error log. No, this is, this is maybe, this, it looks like one step too far uh, for me. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, another thing I started. I I, um, I want to be more conscious of what I eat, especially when I don't pay attention. It, it's just whatever is laying around. At times, uh, there is. I, I, I'd like to fast in the morning, so uh, when when lunchtime comes, I'm pretty hungry and I'll, I'll grab anything. Same. One thing I also started is think about your next meal while having your meal now, so, mm. and that that will put you in situ if less is less possible to put you in situations where you eat anything because yeah, you haven't thought of it. You, you go shopping while you're hungry, just like right, yeah. yeah. Interesting. That, that, yeah. That's the two, so the two finds of the day is my my full four year old yeah, Eddie and, and my uh, yeah, think a little bit of what, what you're going to eat next. So that, that were my two takeaways. Yeah, like it. And and the um, yeah the the, the 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 I was looking for an example to to have this this clues this this trigger events and then this 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 ugly smelling car uh, <laughs> came up. That was a huge trigger. So that was uh, that was easy to to look at that. Okay. I want to circle back on the error lock. I think yeah. it's, even though you feel it's too far, but you will reflect on things, right? Yeah. I think it's the perfect time to reflect and to fix the bugs that you have in your system. And from the error lock, I, if there's something that's really good, I put it into, into my not to do list. But so, how is an error lock different than a journal? Do you use a certain format? Does it have columns? Yes. So you give like tags or labels? Yeah, yeah. What happened when it happened? Is it fixed? And what can I do to make sure it never happens again? And do you rate it? Like this is like a, no. an A1 no. situation? No. Okay. Hmm. Well, uh, if you want to track your progress, let's say if you don't see the progress in yourself, let you, you're speaking to your coach, looking at your error logs and, and looking at how many things you fixed in a permanent way, that could, should make yes. you really proud. And also, you see the how often does the problem reoccur? Yeah, you know, like I again, you know, did X Y Z. You yeah, know, kind of like it's, it's a reflection tool. No, yeah. so. and if it pops up all the time, then you might be aware that okay, I've been ignoring this, and it's it's basically eating all my energy. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Not salt yet. <laughs> Not, I don't want to pile another thing on my to-do uh, list. I mean, I you could also it. have it maybe in have like in your journal, have like in the back a section for this, and have in the question prompt that you use. You know, yeah. what could I have done better? What yeah. can I improve? And then reflect that way. On a, on a quarterly basis, when when we do uh, entrepreneurs retreats. organization retreats, that is when I often think of the uh, stop doing list. Mm -hmm. And that has a lot to do with this as well. 
And the error log is, is basically spending energy where you don't want to spend it. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, you need to end things as well. It's, how come the world is, 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 is praising everybody that starts stuff? Mm. And is not praising anybody who stops. Well, I guess people praise if you stop smoking or etc. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's just like how you label it. You're stopping overweight. You know, yeah. I guess. Yeah, but it's the it, it, easy. It, it's yeah. yeah. It's saying saying goodbye to 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 things that define you are very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, I've, um, not not putting out names. Somebody I know who's been going through depression a lot. Mm -hmm. This person kind of feels at home in the state of, of depression. So yeah. it's like an easy thing yeah. to go back to. I think yeah. Tony Rollins calls it your emotional home. Yeah. Right. Once you get used to this yeah. emotional home, it's 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 easy to go back to that state. Quite a lot of authors uh, um, wrote about it. And I think it, it is. It is um, what you are familiar with feels, uh, feels, feels comfortable. Even that could be misery. Mm -hmm. And feeling happiness is sometimes uh, making people shy away from it. This, this cannot be true. What's the catch? Mm -hmm. And that's that. Well, hey, love, not fear. Love, not fear. We, we are, we're back at the very core of the of their overarching message. But that, that that's it. That there is, uh, there's only the now. You only live the now. And a lot of things has to do with with fear of, of what will happen. That's that it's not rational. And mostly uh, the, 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 the things I, I fear, I worry about uh, too much. So that when the thing actually happens, I have done my grieving or I've paid mm. my price in emotion, negative emotions beforehand. beforehand. How crazy is that? Because sometimes they, 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 they were for nothing. They were just, it was saying, a ghost. I'm an old man. I lived through many horrible things. And the minority of these things actually happened because you kind of live, live through them wow. already. And That's... also, if, if you if you have this issue that you're scared of, yep. right? Rather using energy of being scared of it, yep. take action and figure out what can you do to make it yep. better, to make it go away, to make it yep. happen, right? Yep. Kind of, it's always the, like, how do you are you staying in a state of fear or are you going to a state of love, aka yep. being solution oriented? Yep. The, the 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 energy should go is okay. This fear is is a is a given. It, it, it's presented to you, so it's, it's it's a warning signal. Not all fear is bad, but what you do, what you learn from it, why, yeah, what, what you take from it, what what uh, if fear is is telling you to to stop a certain habit. So fear has a it has a reason. Uh, the amount of which we let our lives be run by it on a daily basis that that is absurd, and that's what we try to combat uh, basically. Not to be in an operating system that that runs out of fear, out of fear yeah. yeah. But it's it 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 is there for a, a reason. Yes, it can in, be a in, warning sign. But then, like, are you staying in the victim position, right? Or do you take action and you become solution oriented? Yeah. You know, or you, do you schedule worry time to kind of like, yeah. okay, what can I actually do about this? Or yeah. are you just like subconsciously in this? So yeah, sometimes it's it's also just okay. Uh, it's, it's like run if you if you're in in the jungle and you see a tiger. Fear is a good thing. Because it gets yeah, you course, going, course. it gives you crazy uh, powers. So um, with, without this primal reaction, sometimes fear can give you the insight and the and the actionability to 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 make these these changes. But um, we're not in a primal society anymore. Right. Just like you know, when when is the last time you had to really like physically fear for, for your life? Yeah. In, yeah. Like, I cannot recall it. Most, most people uh, uh, will know the fear of losing their lives, and without actually being in the situation, not even near. So that's 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 true. I just listened to Joe Dispenza's book. Yeah. Uh, I forgot which one just started this morning. And it was a story about a woman who um lost her husband committed suicide and she wow. stayed in the state of shock and fear and, and trauma like permanently and she got like all kinds of crazy yeah. diseases yeah. from from yeah. this until she overcame this, you know. I, I read the book, it's a beautiful story. Yeah, but it, it took her a long time. Ah, yes. Yeah, but she completely recovered and, and uh, Joe Dispenza describes it really nice. He really went in depth of what 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 it was that that uh, what were the, the 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 fears of this this woman and and what what changes she made in her life to uh, overcome them. to overcome them yeah and it was this so a bad thing happens and she turned her life way worse by by uh, yeah losing all kinds of friends in her the direct uh, area and and, and developing uh, uh, all kinds of diseases. So when you present it with something outside of your circle of influence, then people can can basically 
tear down the rest of the house themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's that's that is that is crazy. Yeah. Well, anyway, a couple of good friends can can be uh, hugely beneficial uh, already. How about we uh, we keep it at Good this? Job. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, also okay. good person. Let's do this again next time in your place. See you next one. Yes, yeah, I'm over. Ciao. I just have to build a cool studio like this, but I'll work on it. Cheers.